What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Home Slice. Here's just a fun update from present day Gabe. Um, it, it, the channel's obviously been publishing out these videos that I've pre-filmed, and I hope you guys have been enjoying that, and I've really enjoyed interacting with you guys in the comments. Sorry for any delays, but we're doing awesome. Our family got a little bit sick a couple weeks ago. I actually got, I tested COVID positive last week, and so um, had another little bout with COVID. But Lazarus is doing really well. We call him Laszlo. He's a real chill little baby, and he's hitting all the milestones he's supposed to. So thank you guys for your prayers and thoughts in that. I really appreciate it. And I wanted to talk to you guys today. So I, for the first two, three weeks, after the baby was born, I was prepping every meal. And for the majority of the meal prep that I did, I carried the Jensen Knives Coastal Camper. Now, you guys have heard me rave about this masterpiece that's created by Wade Jensen. Um, I really, really like this knife. Love the taper, love the super hard Nitro V steel. Love the look um, and the, the feel and the grip is awesome. This is probably the best <laughs> Kydex sheath that I've ever ever used now. When I say like EDC fixed blade, I know a lot of you guys are getting into the like sub three inch blades that you can like slip into your pocket. And I'd really love to try out an EDC fixed blade that fits inside your pocket in a cool leather sheath. I see those kind of storming the market at the moment and I think it's a cool idea. I haven't had a chance to get my hands on one yet, but if you guys really like it you or, or don't really like it, you could leave me comments. Tell me what you think about this new fad. But fortunately my friend, Jason back in the States is actually going to send me a small like three inch EDC fixed blade made out of 10 V. He's an awesome custom maker and would like to try out his steel and his heat treating protocol against the rope tests that I do. So I'm very, very excited to get to try it at that point. But when I say EDC, fixed blade, I mean, I work in grounds, and so I often carry like a gardening sort of knife on my belt, and for a long time, it has been my Bark River. This is my closet here. I've got like a paracord sort of sling where my Bark River Fox River EXT1 hangs, and this thing has been going on my belt for a long time, and I just totally love this knife. Um, I keep one fixed blade kind of hanging here, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> dropped it, in the closet so that it's like ready to grab if I need it for anything, need to break down some boxes, if I want to do some food prep, if I just sharpened it up and it's real nice and sharp. Uh, I've really enjoyed this knife, but just after Laszlo was born, I was prepping like all of the meals and predominantly I was relying on this as basically a kitchen knife, this coastal camper. And I have to say, this thing is phenomenal. It's like, it's thinner than the Bark River. Now the Nitro V is not gonna be like quite as wear resistant, like if I was breaking down cardboard boxes or something like that. But to be honest, the more that I sharpen, the more I care about is the holding of a razor edge. And man, a fine grain steel like this, that's hardened really, really hard. There's nothing like it. This thing, maybe it's still shaving, I don't know. It's still shaving. I haven't even tested this, but it is actually shaving my arm. I don't know if I can get this on video. That is wild. I don't know if you can see the arm, the hairs across my arm or if that's too close to focus. Um, maybe you could see on the blade. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> still blowing my mind. It has just gone forever and ever. It, I think it's been about a month since I resharpened the thing. So today I just wanted to invite you to the ceremony. I am going to switch my EDC fixed blade that I use at work and that I hang on the strap here at home for kitchen prep to the Jensen Knives Coastal Camper. Now the reason that I'm gonna be able to do that is actually because I messaged Wade Jensen and I told him, hey Wade, um, I really love this Coastal Camper. I think I want to sell some stuff off so that I can buy it from you. And he said, hey bro, you know what? Thanks for doing the tests, but you can actually keep it as a gift. 
on the birth of your new son. So <laughs> I've actually been gifted this beautiful knife. And anyway, I just wanted to <laughs> let you join this moment where it is now hung next to my work pants. Usually my Condor Scout Axe hangs right here off of this thing. And this is sort of my quick grab and go uh, sort of work gear area. Uh, on an exciting note up top, that whole box is full of fun, giant chopping knives, which we're going to incorporate into the chopping tournament that I'm so stoked to bring you guys next. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know my tastes are changing a bit. Here I am swinging away from the super steels in my fixed blade and into a really hard conventional steel. We'll see how things go. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sell the Bark River, if I'm going to keep it. I really love it but I kind of only allow myself to have one knife to reside in each slot because I just enjoy them more if I use them lots and lots and lots. Anyway, next week I'm going to start filming on the chopping tournament and you'll get to see some of the blades that are hidden up in that box up there, which will be fun. Also, my sharpening protocol with the denim strop is getting better and better and better and I'm actually getting under 100 best results from that. Once I get that dialed in and I kind of know the cause and effect of why, I'll make you guys another tutorial and hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy that sharpening method as well with better and better results. I'm just still getting it tweaked in and, and getting to understand it so that I could explain it clearly and, and have you guys replicate those results. Before we go guys, okay, so I'm, I'm a little displeased with the level of detail that I gave on why my preferences are changing because I feel like some of you are gonna wanna know that and gonna wanna know why. So, this is sort of my take on good conventional steel versus good powder steel. By good, I mean your, your average manufactured stuff. I don't mean like your crazy custom stuff versus your like somewhat crazy custom conventional steel. Now to be fair, there's a fourth category that should be down here that would be like 61 plus HRC powder steel, but I don't have enough experience with that stuff to really cast any judgment on it, to be honest. I've heard Big Brown Bear discuss a similar dynamic and I just wanna discuss really quick why my preferences are changing. So these bars, this is totally subjective and silly, I realize. This is just based on my own experience, but these bars are meant to generally represent your experience with a steel. Like this is the amount of time that you use it, say, before sharpening, wherever that is for you. So for me, I like to sharpen steels usually about every three to four weeks. Um, sometimes more than that if I'm working on something rough. Um, during that time, there's a, a, a section of time where the edge makes actively makes me happy, and that's this sort of squiggled out or blacked out area, okay? And then there is a period of time where the edge doesn't make me sad, and that is demarcated by this sort of dotted area on each of these. And then there's a section of time where every time I get the knife out to use it, I'm just sad <laughs> because the working edge level that it has is just not satisfying. It's, I go to cut the top off of my bag of corn chips and it just rips it to shreds and it actively makes me displeased, okay? What I find for me is that on a, on a good, decent, like, you know, 57 to 60 Rockwell conventional steel, there's a decent edge retention on a lot of them, especially under 1% carbon, there's a decent edge retention for the razor edge. Your razor edge actually seems to stay around for a decently long amount of time. But once it goes, your working edge, or the edge that at least doesn't make you unhappy, doesn't last that long before you get into this land of unhappiness for me. On a, on a decent powder steel, to be honest, I often fail to get it to the level of keenness that I would like. And that's probably because I don't go through a large enough progression of stones and take the time to do so. So this, this whole thing is also dependent upon whether you have a sharpening system, like a preset system, and how patient you are. But I find that it's a little less time that the edge is actively making me happy. But it's a very, very long time that the edge seems to not be making me unhappy. And I spend very little time dissatisfied, which is an overall better experience than conventional steel in my experience. What I'm finding with this, um, with this knife, 
with the Jensen Knives Coastal Camper 63 Rockwell Nitro V ingot steel is that it has elongated the time of the razor edge and the time that the, the knife actually makes me happy is a lot longer. And then maybe you have a little bit longer of, of working edge than you normally would. But overall, it's it feels like the working edge is just under a decent powder steel, but it feels like the, the time that it's making me happy is more. So even if there's a little bit more time where I'm unhappy, this section of happiness is just really, really coming through for me. And, and I'm really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying my sharpening paying off in this joy for a longer period of time. Now, this channel I try to keep as not subjective as I can. So to do that, let's let's just best test really quick the Bark River and the Coastal Camper and see which one says it's sharper on the best machine. Now these have been put through, I think, similar amounts of use. Each one's seen probably about uh, about three to four weeks of decent work, like ab about the amount of time that I, I leave them unsharpened. So at the moment, the Coastal Camper is sitting at, two thirty eight after about a month of use, and the Bark River is sitting at I just reloaded it off camera to make this a little faster. Two fifty eight. So very, very small difference, but you can see that at the three to four week mark, the Coastal Camper is actually outlasting my Super Steel in terms of absolute keenness and ability to pop that line. Now a lot of you guys have been like, please do paper tests. Not all of us have a best machine. And I have heard your cry. Um, it's just that the videos that I've published, I forgot in a lot of them to do paper tests. I will do that in my ones that I'm filming now currently, but please give grace for the few weeks that it will take to catch up with that. But in honor of that dynamic, let's, let's test what Coastal Camper Edge does to a piece of paper versus Bark River. Absolutely zero catches, all the way to the tip. And you can hear that nice gliding sound. Let's see how the 3V is doing. I, I don't think it'll be bad, but yeah. Okay. Right there in the middle where it gets used the most, there's a little catch. I don't know if you can hear it, but right about there. Does that matter that much? Now there's gonna be guys in the comments that are like, that's so trivial. Yes, <laughs> you're right. That is so trivial. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, we're, this, this channel's kind of about enjoying what you have and learning techniques and ways to get the most joy out of what you have. So at the moment, I am finding that this thing is bringing me more joy than this thing. Although this thing has always brought me joy and I will always love it. Um, I've tested this knife and the behind the edge thickness is about 15 thousandths of an inch. If you want to know how I did that, stay tuned to my next video because I'm going to feature a new tool that I got that will allow more precise testing of the BTE thickness. Oh, I should mention after the edge testing there that these are both wearing the exact same uh, style of sharpening of edge and the same degrees per side. So the Bark River and the Coastal Camper are both currently set at a 17 degrees per side dual grit edge with 250 grit on one side and 6,000 on the other that has been stropped on flat denim loaded with Mother's Mag. So we're, at, we're testing edges with identical geometries even though the behind the edge thickness will be different and the blade design or profile will be different. So thanks for watching. Anyway, thanks for watching this fun personal update. If you wanna know why I love the Jensen Knives Coastal Camper, check out this video right here where it absolutely blew my mind with the performance. Other than that, I'll say peace out to all you guys. Take care.